Hi everybody, I'm Christine Lisi. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making hot cocoa kiss cookies. These are a great cookie for this time of year. Holidays are so busy and we need as much time as possible to do all that shopping and visiting and caroling and all those other kind of things. These cookies don't take any time at all. They're only a couple of ingredients, so they're right up your alley for all of you who are so busy this holiday season. Let's go over the ingredients. You'll need one sugar cookie mix. One quarter cup instant hot cocoa, any flavor. I'm using dark chocolate today. 10 tablespoons of butter, softened to room temperature. Six tablespoons of water. And a bunch of Hershey Kisses, any flavor you wanna use. I'm using the classic milk chocolate today. Step one. Put your cookie mix in your mixing bowl, add your hot cocoa, and then you'll stir this all together. Doesn't take too long to blend this all together with a spoon or a spatula. And then add the butter and the water. You'll want to use a stand mixer or a hand mixer for this one, trust me. Then you're going to blend this all together, these four ingredients, for a couple of minutes until it all comes together. Now grab your scoop or a spoon and scoop out two tablespoons of dough. Take one of your kisses and form it around the kiss. Now just a little tip here, I chill the cookie for probably about an hour, just so the cookies don't spread very much. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Stagger your cookies on a sheet that's been lined with nonstick baking liners and bake them for between nine and 12 minutes. Now one cool thing I thought about doing since these are hot cocoa cookies is put a toasted marshmallow on top. So what I'm going to do is spray a little pan with cooking spray. Take some marshmallows, whatever kind you want. They could be the extra large or the minis or the medium sized ones. And you can put a bunch in your pan. And we'll broil these for a couple of minutes and when they're done, we'll scoop out little pieces and put them on top of the cookies. I toasted these for about 90 seconds with the broiler turned to high. Of course, you can cook them longer or less, depending on how you want your marshmallows toasted. And pretty much like all the cookies I make, they look the same when I take them out of the oven as when I put them in. I'm going to let these cool for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to top them with toasted marshmallows. After your marshmallows have cooled down for a couple of minutes, you can grab one, put it on top of the cookie, and press it down gently. Thanks again for joining me today for the Hot Cocoa Kiss Cookies. A reminder, you can find the recipe at the end of this video. It's on my blog, bakerchristinelisi.wordpress.com, and it's also in the YouTube description box. I look forward to seeing you again soon.